Welcome to today's video. I'm super excited for this video. So obviously the theme of it has to do with something I'm sure you're all well aware of by now, Valentine's Day. But the best part about it is that this is a TBR for a readathon that is happening from February 10 to 15, and that is the Valentine's Readathon. I am super excited. This is hosted by Anna over at Enchanted Reader, Jane at The Bookaholic, and Lauren from Lauren Loves Literature. These three girls are hosting a really exciting Valentine's themed readathon. Whether or not you're like all into Valentine's Day, I think you're gonna enjoy this readathon just based on the prompts and how fun it is and how chill it is. So, yeah, just a little bit of information. There are giveaways happening throughout the readathon. You can find them at their Twitter page or watch any of the announcement videos. I will post all three announcement videos down below in my description so that you can watch. Uh, the original videos and choose your own team. I'm choosing team pink. Woot woot. So it's going to start at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 p.m. Uh, Central European Time on February 10 and it will go until that same time on the 15th. So it is exactly five days. And how it works is that they've got this cute little bingo board that's a 3x3 three three bingo board. There are three prompts per color. So there's pink, red, and white. I, like I said, I've chosen Team Pink, so I'm going to share my TBR of the books that I've chosen for the Team Pink prompt. Now, the cool thing about it is that you have to read one book per prompt, but in order to get a bingo, you have to read a book from someone else's prompt, and when you're doing other people's prompts, you can double up, triple up, whatever. So I'm going to try and do this entire readathon just reading three books and seeing how many bingos I can get. So the first prompts for Team Pink are the Candy Hearts, and that's to read a book with pink on the cover. For this, I have chosen Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. This is about a girl whose older sister gets engaged to the Prince of Scotland, and it's her journey going over and learning how to be part of the royal family, and she meets someone else, a part of the royal family there, who may have some sort of lovey-dovey connection with her, hopefully. I mean, it's a it's contemporary romance, which, yes, that's right, I am reading contemporary romance for the Sweetathon. I am doing it, I am giving it a try once again, like last year I tried, this year I'm trying again. The second prompt is Love is in the Air. Read a book where the word love is in the title. I'm slightly stretching it. I have Lovely War here. It, like, has the word love, but it's a form of love. I'm going with it because I don't have any books on my shelf that have the word love in them. And when I went to the store, yes, I went to the store to buy books for this readathon. Crazy, I know. They will be included in a haul that I will film at some point. And so this is about a, this is a historical fiction during World War II and it's narrated by Aphrodite, I believe. And it's about this couple who, you know, what it's like to live in a war in World War II and I believe they get separated at some point and it's ooh, it's a big mess. But it's a chunky book which is why I'm nervous about it happening for a readathon so it'll probably be the third book that I read out of the three. Um, so hopefully I can read it in time. For the last prompt I have another Rachel Hawkins book. The last prompt is Teddy Bear Read a Fluffy Contemporary and I've chosen Her Royal Highness also by Rachel Hawkins because I've heard so many good things about this author and these two books specifically, so I decided to give this one a try. So this is about a girl who has a best friend, hopefully more, who finds out that she is kind of being with other people, and so she decided that she was gonna move to Scotland again? Yeah, she decides that she's gonna move to Scotland and go to college, and then her roommate ends up being the princess of Scotland. And so she kind of goes through the same thing she had with her best friend, where she wants to be a little more than friends, but like doesn't quite know how to go about it, but wants to keep her this time. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So the nice thing about these three books is that they can double for all of the prompts except for two of them. So I'm going to see how many bingos I can create without having to read another book to fulfill the last two prompts, especially because it's only five days. It's quite short to read more than three books, um, especially for me right now because I don't quite get as much reading time as I was hoping to. But, you know, life of a college student, what can I say? So I have all the crossovers planned out, but I'm not going to go through them because I'm really only going to focus on Team Pink because the whole point is to win points uh, for your team. It's one point per prompt. 
So check out the announcements below if you want to know the prompts for the other teams and join a team. Sign up. There's still plenty of time. But yeah, I am super excited. Again, so I'm reading books that I don't normally read and that have not in the past been my favorite, but hopefully because of the good reviews I've heard, I'm hoping I will enjoy them. If not, at least I have Lovely War, which is something I've been wanting to read because it is historical fiction. So like, I should enjoy one out of these, one out of these three, but I, I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy them more. I think I do like contemporary more than I like to admit. So it's not, again, it's not going to be a big genre that I feature on my channel just because I tend to prefer fantasy or historical fiction, but I feel like romance is kind of everywhere, so especially, especially in the Valentine's mood, you gotta let me have it. I'm in such a Valentine's Day mood, which is like huzzah for once. So I really encourage you to just check out the videos, even if you're unsure about doing a readathon or just do it very loosely because it is a lot of fun. Uh, make sure you subscribe as next week's video will also be Valentine's Day themed, but not in the way that I think you will expect, so stay tuned for that. I post every Thursday, and I might even post an extra video this coming week. Hoo-hoo! Bonus video this week, so stay tuned for that as well, and the only way you're going to be notified is if you hit the bell when you subscribe. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you are interested in the readathon, or you're a part of it, or you liked the video, comment down below anything about any of these books because I know very little about them and I don't generally read this genre, so please, like, if you have any advice, reviews, anything, just comment that down below and I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, until I see you guys in the next video, I wish you a happy reading!